Hello guys, this is the Blue Ninja 69 here, and today I'm bringing you guys an unboxing and review on the G&G CM16 AEG rifle, uh, which is the uh, combat machine. So you see the CM right there, combat machine, right cross airsoft guns. So I'm just gonna open this box real quickly. I want to try opening it without ruining it, so um, I'm gonna pull this out. So here is the gun. So I'll keep the box. I will kind of need that just to be for safety reasons. So very briefly, I'll just go through quickly about um, what is in here. So of course we have the gun, which has a um, consists mostly of just a. Uh, plastic body here since it's slightly cheaper, but it still feels very nice and It almost feels metallic except it doesn't like feel cold like metal should you know um, Then we have the uh, muzzle condom and as you can see since we live in Canada We can have the black muzzle or, or flash hiders. I mean so looks really nice. Looks very realistic slip that on for protection <laughs> So since this, this this is the Raider version, not the carbine version, it's got an RIS barrel or RAS. Um, it's all around, so rails on all four sides here, and we have a slightly smaller sights. From what I can see, looks really good. Stock, totally adjustable to six different positions. So there's short here, long here. Depends on your preference. I'll keep it just short like that for now. Put this back. This comes with some ammunition, just for sample, this is like sample, sample ammo, just for testing the gun. Then you have a G&G &G full metal, high cap 450 round magazine. This looks good, I also bought a spare mag, which is right here. So this also came with my thing here, so I have two of those now. So I'll just place this off to the side, we have a charger. And to go with that charger, we have a battery, which this is a butterfly battery, which you do need for um, every gun, every AEG gun, of course. Um, I hear a lot of people say that it doesn't come with a battery, or it doesn't come with a proper battery, or something like that. Um, mine came with a battery, um, but that doesn't mean that it will come with a battery every time. And then, of course, charger here. Looks, looks, I, I don't know if it's a smart charger or not, I guess it doesn't matter. Got some cool paper stuff. This looks like the manual. And here you go. So, gun looks pretty cool. I really like the look of it. And I'll show you what else I got. So, I got some biodegradable ammo here. Which is the Elite Force. 5,000 rounds, all 0 .12, 20 grams I mean. And we also have the G&G &G SS100 mock suppressor, which is going to go at the end. I know this is preferably kind of a pistol suppressor since it's kind of short. This is this looks roughly about three or four inches, um, but it still looks really nice. Uh, this grip looks really, it feels really and looks really unique. Uh, the butt is rubberized here, very rubbery. Um, I suppose that's it. This is also featuring blowback here, so I pull back the hop up. Here you have your semi-auto, full-auto switch on the side here. So here's safe. Flip it horizontal or vertical, I mean, to make it semi-auto and make it point to the back for full-auto. Obviously, I want to put on safe mode for now. I'm just going to rip this tag off. Or I should cut it off really because it's on pretty good. There, perfect. Okay, so here's the gun. One more look. Just starting from here all the way down. Looks very, very nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to customize this gun to how I want it to look and everything. And once that's all good to go, I'll give you one last look at the gun to show you what I've done with it and what I think you should do with it, and I'll give you an overall review on how good the gun is. 
So just give me a few hours and I'll be with you in a second. Guys, so I'm just going to give you all a final look at what I've done with the gun here. So I attached the uh, suppressor I bought with it. And it looks really, really cool. I love it. Um, it's almost a waste of money because it doesn't really actually suppress the gun because it's an airsoft gun, right? But it still just looks really, really cool. And it gives it kind of an aggressive sound. I mean, that, right? Pretty cool. Um, I attached the foregrip that I had on my old M4. Um, I'm still actually kind of debating whether I should keep it on or not because um, I feel it doesn't really go with the gun. I, I don't know. Um, and then the sling I also have so I can shoulder it like so. Just like that. And here's the mag. Don't really need that. Better to keep it out. And um, I'll give you one last look at my uh, old M4 that I have here. So I guess the biggest differences I found was the uh, adjustable stock. Uh, my new gun's a little more heavier. And then of course it's got a more authentic look to it, you know. I got suppressed right now, not this orange flash hider, and the body's not transparent, it's black. So I'm gonna miss this whole thing, and you know I had some really good times with it, but uh I'll move on. I'm always gonna keep it. You know, stop stuck some stuck in my foot. So I just wanted to show you that. And that's the, I guess that's all I got for you guys. So I might post a uh, shooting video of me just kind of giving you guys a little look at the how it shoots and stuff. And I'll kind of sum up the performance of the gun, what I've seen so far. Um, wow, I love it. It's accurate. Um, the short and lightweight makes it really good for CQB. At the same time, with that, uh, since it's a rifle, right? Even those kind of little more long range fights, you still got a pretty good chance with a gun like this. So all around, it performs really, really well. And um, I mean, you don't need to buy an expensive gun when you can buy this. This thing goes toe to toe with the most expensive, crazy top brand guns. This thing manages just fine with them. I have a very good feeling. Um, I think it's really great and for the future I'm going to be getting a scope for it and you are going to be seeing this gun in the future because we do have some plans for the upcoming spring break. I suppose that's all I got for you guys so uh, I'm really excited and yeah so until my next video guys peace out.